there's this couple who are really good friends of mine who live in London. And they have a three-year-old son, his name's Luca. And their names are Mike and Fee. And every single emotion they deny in themselves, Luca experiences. Wow. You know? So, and he would, he would reflect that emotion back to them every single moment. So one, one night, in the middle of the night, Luca falls out of bed and hits his eye on the corner of the bed. And he's got this great big black eye and he wakes up screaming. That exact moment, Fee, his mother, was having a dream and she was afraid and fearful right at that same moment of something happening to her. There was another time when she was upstairs crying about some, in fact, trying to shove down some emotions about being hurt physically. And he, at the same moment, he was out on a pontoon out in the sea with, with Mike and he had an injury that affected him in exactly the same way that she felt. And they were like 400 yards away from each other, not knowing what was going on. Mike would have a feeling within himself of I'm unworthy, or I'm feeling bad about myself, or I'm feeling stupid. And Luca would come up to him and say, silly Mike, silly Mike, silly Mike. <laughs> <laughs> and Mike would go... What am I denying now? That, uh, <laughs> um, how many other things? Andrew was there. There were so many. And then when he dealt with the um, unworthiness or the silliness, he was, he, he was so proud of himself. Luca said, came down like, for breakfast one morning, he says, Smart Mike. And Mike went, oh, I've done it. <laughs> yeah. I've done it. Yeah. So this is happening to all parents and children, but they're not aware of it. They're just not aware of it. Yeah. Every and single one of you have young children in particular. <laughs> They, they are a complete mirror of what's going on inside of you that you are trying to avoid at that instant. So if they're crying in that instant about something, it is your emotional denial generally that they're crying for. Sorry, Joe, when does that stop? And... <laughs> well, the way I'd like to look at it is when it stops is when you feel your emotions. <laughs> But that's not the one you wanted to hear, was it? <laughs> yeah. um, it obviously stops when you have all the, when you own all of your emotions. They stop. Now, to give you an example of that. And Mike was walking down with Luca down the beach, and then all of a sudden, this Mike started feeling like he needed to cry, and Luca started playing up, like he started getting really restless and yelling at Mike and all that kind of stuff. Mike sat down on the beach and just cried. And what happened is Luke, Luca just stopped what he was doing. He, he stopped being a nuisance. And he sat down next to Mike and just folded his arms like that and looked at the ground. And he sat there like that for nearly 30 minutes while Mike cried. And he didn't do anything naughty in that time. Then when Mike stopped crying, Luca said, we're not on play now. So he knew straight away. There was another lady um, who we stayed with in London as well. She has an eight-year-old daughter. And what was happening, we, we were having this conversation about this lady's life and uh, she was describing an event where she went up to her father who lived in the north of England um, who was laying on his deathbed and he, was, he died in fact a week later. And she began describing this event where she went up to see her father laying on his deathbed. And all of a sudden, her daughter just burst out crying and ran into her arms and just hugged her and sobbed and sobbed. And Carolyn looked at me and said, what's going on? Like, right? And I said to Carolyn, what were we just talking about? And she said, oh, my dad. And I said, and what do you not want to feel about your dad? And then Carolyn connected instantly to that. And she started crying. Carolyn started crying. <coughs> And the instant Carolyn started crying, her daughter, Laura, her name is, got off her lap, dry, stopped crying instantly, and sat down and ate like nothing had happened. Yeah. So children are a complete reflection of our emotional denial. So if you love your children, it's a good reason to deal with your <coughs> emotions. It's when you shut... A lot of us feel, oh, I can't be emotional in front of my children. Uh, how many of us feel that? Uh, lots of us feel that, generally. Right? 
the truth is if you do not allow your emotions 100% of the time, whether you're in front of your children or not, what is going to happen is your children will be affected by those emotions you deny in yourself. They enter your child because you're not feeling them yourself. See, what happens is, if you can just picture your body, right? You've got this emotion. Emotion, remember, is energy in motion, right? When this energy in motion flows through you, it's not going anywhere else. It's just flowing through you. But what happens when you stop it and block it? It hits the place where you're blocking it, and then it just shoots out everywhere, right? And who's that going to enter? Anything around you. And this is a good reason to love your emotions. Very powerful. So love for others is a good reason. Any others? Love for others is a good reason for dealing with my emotions.